Welcome everyone, Adam is the woo here. As the recording of this, it is Saturday, January 20th, 2024. And I'm heading over to Lakeland for Central Florida Comic Con 24 edition. I went last year, going this year. It starts today, which is Saturday, and tomorrow will not be there tomorrow. So I'm going the first of the two days. Gonna check out some cosplay, check out some vendors, peruse the show floor, just see what's happening and possibly purchase an item or two, or maybe three, or more. I'm inviting you to join me. It's also very nice outside. That's why I got the, got the jacket on, well, I got the, like, the hoodie on, because it's cool. Join me, shall you? Around noon, it's only gonna be 53 degrees. And then as the day progresses, even at 4 p.m., 47 degrees. Nice. I'm going to keep an eye out for a few things for the Corridor of Goons, which is the, the name I have for my little nerd cave. My room of goodness over here. I'll keep, I always keep an eye out for Disney pins. So I have a collection here and I have a collection here. Basically what I'll do is at the start, whenever I'm searching, just take a photo like that. Take another photo like that. And then that way I can zoom in, see what I have or don't have when I get to places. And always on the, always on the lookout for some NES games as well that I don't have. So these are the ones I have currently. So I'll do the same, same thing basically. So I have what I have, and if I get to a place and I'm confused on what I have or don't own, then I can just look at the photo that I'm taking right there, zoom in, instead of making a handwritten list, just do it that way. Maybe I'll find a good NES game to add to my collection today too. Clear skies, cool weather. Gonna fuel up both car gas and coffee for my system. Fueling up. Price of gas currently right here in Celebration, Florida. The Art Deco 7-Eleven, $2.94. $2.95 a gallon, I guess I got that. That other nine tenths in there as well. Coffee's gonna taste good. It's cooked. so chilly out here. All right, they got the Columbia 7-Eleven exclusive and French vanilla. I think I'm gonna go with the French vanilla. Extra large. See if I can do this without popping the cup out. And at the moment, I-4 westbound, the direction I'm going looking pretty smooth. This time of day, not too bad. Okay, I have arrived at the former Lakeland Civic Center, now the RP Funding Center. The parking situation to get into the lot is a little backed up here, stretching out into the road. These guys trying to cross the street in the cart. So I guess I turn right here, or I could go straight and follow those cars up there. Oh, he's not turning right, he's just sitting there. Looks like it's going to be a good turnout. Parking fee appears to be $10 for a single car. Or if you want in and out privileges, 15. So an extra five, you can go in and out. Probably just going to do the single for 10. And I haven't purchased a ticket yet, so I have to do that. Probably at the door. I think it's like $40, 30 or $40 for today. I think it's like 40. Is that a headstone? It's an 1800 stamp on it there. Pulling into the parking lot. Oh yeah, so there's more over here too. Take a look at that. Interesting. I've been here a few times. I've never noticed that before. Noticed those before. All parking lots. Cashless. What if I pay with quarters? Yeah, there is a, definitely a line of vehicles to get in this bad boy. It's good. There's going to be people in there. It's also exactly 10 o'clock. I think it's 10.01. Doors opened at 10, so a lot of people getting here, like I did, right at the moment the doors opened. What if they're going to have it in the big hall today? Or if it's going to be the other one? Usually for any event I've ever been to here, with the exception of seeing Nirvana here, back in the early 90s. 
was always over in that other building. But it'd be nice if the convention actually took place in here, where I saw that Seattle grunge band on the In Utero tour. Entrance one. All right, I am officially really excited. They are having it in the George Jenkins arena, which is where I saw Nirvana. That is freaking cool. Again, I've been to quite a few of the different conventions and things here, and I've never been to one that was in this room. All right, I have to, oh, this is a pre-purchase ticket. Cash credit, okay, that's pre-purchased. So if I need to buy a ticket, I gotta get in this line? Yes, this line. Oh, the shorter line? Yeah. Okay, I guess it's just better that, that I didn't buy them ahead of time. So if I would have bought ahead of time, I would have had to wait in the longer line than just getting here and buying them. That's, that's a little different, right? Yeah, the stage when I saw Nirvana was over here on this end. I was right there, circling it up in the circle pit, a little slam dance, my slam dancing days. All right, got my Saturday wristband. Price was $45. If you bought it online, it was 40, so you would have saved just a, a little bit from that aspect. Here's a, a layout of the convention here. Jenkins Arena is where you get the registration, ticket sales, merch, gaming, community boards. But then it looks like they're utilizing all the other areas that I've been in. And again, it goes on tomorrow as well. This is the only day I'm gonna be here. This is some of the flyers they were handing out as well. And these are the these are the prices. Again, it's just amazing that I am standing in the same spot third little about a month after 30 year anniversary of me standing right here watching Kurt Cobain. And when I first got in here, I thought this was going to be the whole convention, but evidently it's not the whole convention. Mind if I get a little video of your stuff? You want to do the sign again? What? You want to do the sign again? There you go. Nice. Like Star Wars doing You're what? There you go. The best of both worlds. I love this. <laughs> the Jack Black singing the Peaches song. I just recently saw the Mario movie. I freaking loved it. So good. Looks like this is a scavenger hunt of some sort. Pokemon car. Can you help solve the case, Greg? You know, it's funny. I was it's where my. really good at solving crimes, that's for sure. <laughs> I dug my Dragon Sound uh, shirt out of my closet the other day, too. I was wearing it the other day in the yeah. evening. Yeah, friends yeah. fraternity. If I would have worn it today, we would have been we would have been twinsies. Oh man, that would have yeah. been awesome. I al I almost ha I almost wore it, but I opted for the the Teen Wolf here. Yeah, yeah, we are right there. We're in here. So where they had free plays over in here. Okay, I right. Believe. Yeah, this was like the main free play arcade video room, and then this is where the panels were and stuff. Yeah. And then this is where the. I think this is just the registration and gaming area. Yeah, there he oh, is. Trails. Stay yeah. puffed, marshmallow man. Oh, this is the Lakeland Ghostbuster chapter. I didn't realize Lakeland had a chapter. There you go. Let's do it. You got it, man. You ain't you ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. They got Sonic. Where's right. Mario? We need a Sonic and Mario battle. Sonic Sonic was Genesis, right? Yeah. Right. But well, where's Mario? Uh, it's sold out. Very popular. This is, close as it, this is close as it gets. Pokemon yeah. versus Sonic. Oh, there's a ticket booth box office for a lot of concerts. Been a, hundreds of bands who played here. Kiss, Elvis. Right, we're going to head around and see what else in some of the other areas. Actually, we go out here real quick, out into the coolness. Oh, feel that breeze. It says no outside food or beverage. 
but I had a, I had this and I brought it inside. Now I'm going back outside. So I'm, I don't know what the regulations on that are. Oh, this is great. Look at this one. This is awesome. It even has the little board across the top. It says, who are you going to call? Yeah, there's a lot of people here. Huh? This is pretty cool. This is this gentleman. This is your car here, Chris? This is my car. This, oh, this is my is daily Chris? driver. This is your daily vehicle? Yeah, this is my daily driver. I drive really? Is that your daily vehicle too? <laughs> Sometimes it is. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love it, guys. Oh yeah, you even got the little AP stickers on the back here. Oh yeah. You've got a random land on there. I do have a random land. Look at on that. There. Thank you. All right, going into the main vendor room and exhibit. C. Exhibit room C. Main vendor room. I just asked about these, and there are a lot of Disney fans. They're three dollars each, or eight for twenty. Any over eight are only two fifty each. I'm kind of look out for some country bear pets. All right, there's a couple country bears. Look, there's two liver lips right there. There's two liver lips McGraw right there. How much are these again? These are, I just stated, $3 each. Or eight for 20. Should I get eight pens? I'll probably find eight pens through here. Oh, got an R2 unit rolling through here. And there are some celebrities here, mostly comic book celebrities that are over in this little area. Oh, you're dancing it up? <laughs> nice. Thank you, Jawa. You got the moves right here. What's your favorite move to do? Is that the, is that the, is that the move or do you have like a secret move? Secret move is stealing things. All right. Well, don't don't steal too much. And then they run away. All right. See you later. All right, check this out. I always like the Richard Donner Superman so much. Chris Reeve there. They also have some of the recreations of the Fortress of Solitude little little slivers there. Single crystal, forty dollars. Now that is a Bart Simpson's phone for thirty dollars right there. Just look at that, Bart Simpson's phone. Hello, Mario. You have a Mario behind you. You have a look at this right here. That's you. It's a me. Which one is the real Mario? I don't know. It's tough. Oh, there's three of them. There's another one right here. You're Mario. He's a Mario. I'm a Mario. There are Marios I should know about. Meow. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of Marios. Hey Mario, you have another one. Are you having a good convention so far? Yes, I am. You purchased anything? No. No. Yeah. Just window. I paid uh, thirty-nine dollars for the Uber and uh, forty-four for the ticket. Forty-four for the ticket, yeah. thirty-nine for the Uber. Yeah, I, I only bought Saturday, so press days. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can still have fun without spending money here. Yeah, of course. Thirty-five dollars. Yeah. Wander aimlessly. Just wind, wander aim. Look above. Look above your head, Mario. Oh, it's a whole another Mario. Who's that? Look at the devil. It's uh, Chris Pratt. <laughs> it is Chris Pratt. Mini fig is what they're called. Take a look at these. Like the little. I'm not really super into like Lego stuff, but I do like these. Are these like custom made? I think so, yeah. You're not going to be able to get a leather face, a legit leather like leather face. I like these though. You got Voorhees. You got Pennywise right there. And you got Georgie. Look at over here. You even got Linda Blair Exorcist Reagan right there. You're saying the Wolfman really is one? Yeah, that's a real Lego, not a custom figure. So this is a nice touch. The fact that they have Predator, but they also have the cloaked Predator. Oh, yeah. The invisible Predator. Yeah. That's pretty well done. All right, I got four different ones from the horror genre of the little mini figurines. Like playing Jenga right here. Guess who made this game? You'll never guess. Transworld? Transworld, a game called Transworld Surf. Who made it? Yeah. I don't know. Jenga Towers. 
Oh, it's Atari. <laughs> I was thinking of a person. Actually, a little video. Thank you. All right, Sean is going to tell me the wonderful world no, but see, look of at lounge this, though. flies. This one is uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. That looks fantastic. They're very popular. This is like the new hot thing. Is there's the... space you still inside? Somebody needs a space. hug. Yeah, an elf. What did you ask me if I had besides uh, a Stanley? I did buy a Stanley. Do you have a hydro flask too? I don't have a hydro flask. Do you I have, have a also a Yeti as well. I had a Yeti when I had my van years ago. I would sit on it, put my shoes on inside when I was living in the van. It kept all my Are stuff. Are you talking about the cooler? The big cooler, yeah. Oh, I'm an old school Yeti. No, no, I'm old school Yeti. But I did buy, I did buy the, the Stanley. I've used it twice. <laughs> <laughs> He's in two times. In like three months, I'll go to every thrift store and there'll just be Stanleys everywhere. What if you got your Stanley and filled it up with like Dole Whip? That's a pretty good idea. It would stay cold a long time. The ice stays in there forever. Coffee will stay hot all day. Really? All day. Yes. But it, I'm afraid it'll melt the straw. Just don't use a straw. You just use the sipper card. 34 bucks for all three. Yeah, and your favorite movie's right there on the front. Return of the Jedi. That's the best one. I mean, I like Empire too. I think I... I, don't know. I think I prefer Jedi. Over. What is it about Jedi that you like? The I best? think it was just the time period. I collected all the the figures and the toys and all the action stuff. So I think it was just the time in my life. Because I would have been nine when Jedi come out came out. Yeah. So I think I was a little too young to to catch the Empire buzz till later in life. If that makes sense. I was looking at the video games over there. I don't know if those are yours. They are. Bro. The land up. I just like Luke. He just is. Oh, this could be the Emperor. So awesome in that. Yeah, the Emperor. Look at the Emperor right there. Look at his hands on fire. And now, young Jedi, he will die. Is that a good one? That was pretty bad, right? You got an Xbox? I don't. So this game, this land adventures right here. Mm -hmm. So one. One to one, like accurate depiction of Disneyland. Oh, yeah. And you can connect it to the Kinect, and literally your character will walk through Disneyland exactly how it was built. Really? Except you can't ride any of the rides or all the little mini games with right. this. Right. I just need an Xbox. You have to have yeah. Connect, though. yeah, Connect. Well, they did another version of it without the Kinect. Oh. Or if you have an Xbox? Yeah, if you had an Xbox 360. Yeah, this I don't have that. This is that it. looks awesome. Now, this is the little food court area. You got Deadpool over there. All right, stepping into another room now. This line is for the voice actor of SpongeBob SquarePants, who's located way over there. Hey, how many people are in line for the guy that does SpongeBob? Superheroes, bye. Go. Stop talking. Bye. Bye. What just happened? Is that is that Tom Kenny's voice? I think it was. They were making an announcement. Evidently, he stepped away from his table, or maybe they just brought the microphone over to him. A lot of cosplayers over there, too, I guess. Signing and doing meet and greets. I'm guessing that's a cosplayer table over there. All right, Silo Art. I see a, a Back to Future 3 up there, right? You got Mad Dog, Tannen, and Clint Eastwood, which is really Michael J. Fox, Monday, 8 a.m. So this all custom stuff you do? Yes. Yep. Fandom inspired soap. Right here. You also see a kimono is like it's white. like haunted mansion. Green on the bottom. Oh, that's the mansion. Yeah. Who do they have Rome burning? They gotta have Rome burning. See, I'm, I'm talking like I know. I think they dig a little deeper. If you like... This is my dark version of Cinderella, um, based off the Brothers Grimm version. Her name is actually Asha. Okay. Brothers Grimm, your version of Cinderella. These are the little blind mice. Oh, very nice. Yep, they tell the story. They tell the past, present, and future. I love it. You're always you're always done up as something different every convention I see you at. Yeah, it's from this one. Oh, it's your new. Is this the newest book? Um, Mice? Yeah, I, and it's the only one I have left. I sold out this week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can they get these online? Sure can. <laughs> Free blind mice. See how they run. See how they run. Right here. Oh, it's on the back. They all ran after the farmer's wife. They cut up the head with the butcher's knife. Mm -hmm. 
If you ever see such a sight as three blind mice. Yeah, so that's going to be incorporated into all the stories. So the three blind mice ran after the farmer's wife with the butcher's knife? No, she ran after them. And she off. ran after oh, them with a butcher's knife. Cut off knife. their tails. Yeah. Oh, their tails. I thought the mice yeah, the tail, see, the tails were cutting were the head off of the butcher's she's already, wife. She's already there taken care are. of these mice. Look at that. Yeah, that's how I tell them apart. Three blind mice. Of course, pop figures are very popular. A lot of uh, old school comics in here, too. Battle for Planet of the Apes. There's a Brady Bunch in there. The Jetsons up there. Magic Gorilla. Rocky and Friends. John Wayne down there. Yeah, the net, yeah. recycled toys and make them in the Yeah. Very cool. Two for a dollar? Two for a dollar? Yes, sir. And then the ones in the baskets are for the Crocs, and then the ones on the boards are magnets. They're both $4 uh, a piece or three for ten. Oh, you put it in there. So it's like a little like a little flare for the Croc. Right, exactly. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Okay. You can accessorize your shoe, basically. Right, exactly. Here, I got, I got four stickers. Yeah. Okay, cool. How about that? Maybe I should get some Crocs to start accessorizing. Dude, get a Croc. You know, the get guy Crocs. that made the Crocs also was the one that promoted the Stanley. That's why the Stanley got so you popular. You know what's really funny about the Crocs? So when they made uh, Idiocracy, yeah. they are like, we want the ugly shoe <laughs> They got the croc. And then just so happened that crocs came out and they said yes. So when you see idiocracy, everyone's wearing crocs. Spider-Man, what do you Oh there you go. I saw you were looking at the swords. Are you a sword guy? Yes I am. I wish. <laughs> I wish. Don't don't do a backflip. If I did a backflip I would hurt myself, so I wish I could do it. Yeah? I do not have that. Have you ever tried a backflip? Yes. How did it turn out? Didn't even get all halfway around. Very that's nice. Cool, man. I told you I'm gonna get that a lot today. Well, that's what I it love is. it. Is it? Sort of. It's actually Mark Campbell's Arkham Asylum. So ah. Okay. Yep. Very nice. Hey, Either way, very very cool. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. Then we got music by <laughs> Yeah. I love it. <laughs> now I just put you out on the spot. Just put me on the spot. Like, uh, <laughs> if you don't see me, if I can't see you. Hey. There you go. Nice. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Some gremlins. Oh, there's the records? Yeah. The Lesno and the gremlins. Yeah. Master of the universe. The last gremlin. Gremlins trash. That's pretty good. Well, that's, pretty, that's not a bad deal. Hey! <laughs> hey! Now I'm going to have that stuck in my head the rest of that. Welcome to my life. Oh, man. <laughs> Nice. I'll look it up. Thanks, man. It's on YouTube. Ah! It'll make a lot more sense when you do. No! You'll understand. <laughs> the whole mess flipped up. <laughs> oh, who you got here? In my boy Blue. Is it a Velociraptor? Is he nice? Yes, he's pretty well behaved. Can I pet her? He's pretty sure. well behaved. Yeah, there you nice go. raptor. Nice raptor. Thank you. Have a great day. You too, thanks. Oh, Very nice. Got the party. I was going to wear your shirt today. Wait. You were? I'm honored. Can we get a photo with you? Absolutely. <laughs> Let's get an action pose first. Oh, oh. oh don't ruin the magic. Don't ruin the, don't ruin magic. the magic. Wait, that's not Chris Pratt under there? <laughs> All right, action shot. Ready? Go. They are so cool. Perfect. I feel like I'm in the movie. <laughs> That's so awesome. Double man does. It's like Bert and Ernie? Who is Bert and Ernie? That's amazing. Back in George Jenkins Arena, George Jenkins, of course, known for his creation of Publix grocery stores, which started in Lakeland. Recognition for outstanding community service to the city of Lakeland. Here at the RP Funding Center. 
my swamp. This is awesome. Get out of my swamp. <laughs> it's my swamp now. Oh, Pikachu. Nice. Hello there. Hey, Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu looks very confused over there. It's like... Guys look awesome. Stay away. Yeah. They're doing a little dance over here. <laughs> no. We were just talking about you. Titanic, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about you. Check out my man, Jack Dawson, the king of the world. Oh. He's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. How many Titanic VHSs are you up to now? 2,660. Hold on, is that what we're doing? We're collecting the Titanic VHSs? Oh, yes, the world's largest collection. Did you build a throne out of it? We have. They're trying to build the entire Titanic. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's it, baby. Where can people find you guys? Oh, we're all over social media, can, but uh, like Titanic, like Titanic fan 97. Yes, Titanic on VHS is the only way to watch Titanic. <laughs> Don't watch it on Good to see you, or Jack. DVD or streaming. Jack huh? on VHS, two tapes. <laughs> yeah, because it has to be the two tapes. We have to take the little intermission. <laughs> my man, my man. I didn't mean to catch you off guard as you're walking in. <laughs> you're not in the zone yet. <laughs> So, so I just want your honest opinion on this one quick question, since you guys are Titanic aficionados. How did you feel about Titanic being recreated in Avatar, The Way of Water? I mean, Titanic 2 is cute, but it's no... <laughs> and now made the commute back over into celebration. Now here's what I ended up purchasing from the convention. So I got those eight pens there, which I'm going to put on my pen board. I got a couple of Jessica Rabbit pens, three Country Bear pens, two Mickey pens, and a Stitch Elvis pen. And then also my buddy Greg is hanging out with today. He had this pen he gave me. It's a Mickey pen. Kind of old school Mickey with the pie chart eyes. And I got four of the mini Lego figures there. I got some little horror icons. I'm going to go put those in the little nerd room, the corridor of goons, the goon room. Country Bears Itch. Jessica Rabbit. And that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. <laughs>